Omar Khadr, Canada's first multimillionaire due to an act of terrorism as opposed to picking the correct numbers in Lotto 649, is seeking to reverse his bail conditions so that he can make contact with his Sharia sister and the rest of the odious Khadr clan. This request makes no sense. It defies logic and it spits in the face of the Canadian public yet again. Now, part of Omar's release included conditions stating that the convicted terrorist could not make unsupervised contact with his Islamist family members. Now, I'm betting 95% of the people viewing this commentary despise Omar Khadr and for that matter, the Liberal government that gave this creep $10.5 million in compensation plus a public apology. So no sense preaching to the converted. So I will address the lunatic fringe, which by the way, comprises most people employed in the mainstream media, who think Omar was hard done by and he is entitled to his <laughs> entitlements. Because when you think about it, these people, AKA the Omar cheerleaders, should be dead set against rejigging these bail conditions. After all, let's not forget the oft-repeated narrative regarding Omar Khadr, that he was a child soldier, that he was raised by an ideologically abusive family, that daddy made the poor kid throw that hand grenade that took the life of Christopher Spears and partially blinded Lane Morris. Now, if this is true, then the very last thing you would want is for poor little innocent Omar to be further indoctrinated by Canada's first Al-Qaeda family, right? But no, apparently that narrative goes out the window when little Omar misses Mama's halal home cooking and Omar obviously pines for the embrace of his sinister sister Zainab, who never ventures anywhere unless clad in her Islamic beekeeper costume. After all, Zainab has surely kept up to date on the latest trends in improvised explosive devices. I mean, just check out some of the pithy songs found on her iPod, such as Strike and Kill the Infidels and I Am a Terrorist. Not exactly you light up my life now, is it? Now, it's well documented that the Qadar family despises Canada and Western values, Except, of course, when it comes to taxpayer-funded entitlements such as welfare and universal health care. Yeah, apparently it'll turn a blind eye to all of us infidels as long as we're cutting checks for them. So what can we conclude from Omar's longing for a family reunion with the rest of his Sharia shysters that make up a clan creepier than the Adams family and the Munsters combined? Well, first, yet again, Omar is displaying Islamist triumphalism by signaling to all us idiot infidels that he can get away with damn well anything he pleases because the liberal left loves embracing the victim card when it comes to Islam. Secondly, in longing to lie down with the other swine who occupy the Qadar pig pen, it proves that this particular leopard has not changed its spots, that you really, really can't teach an old dog new tricks, can you? So the question arises, Will a judge reverse these bail conditions? <laughs> Bet the house on it, folks, because that's the way we roll in Trudopian Canada in 2017. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.